Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Elemental Loop Grid to build a wonderful loop for your post. And also, I'll be showing you how to go about the post accept and also the equal height for your loop. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So on your editing screen, you just come down to the search here and then you search for loop. This is what we'll be using, the loop grid. You just drag and drop it here. So once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, right on this container, we're going to edit this container and add some, some padding. So we're going to add a padding of 100 all around. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the, the loop. So now, at the top here, you see the layout. This is where you choose the template type you want to build your loop for. Uh, for now, Elementor supports loop for post and for product, so we'll be building for post. So right next to that, you see that where you choose your template. If you have an already existing template, you can choose it here and then make use of that template. But in our case, we do not have any, so we'll be creating our template from scratch. So right next to that, you see the query. This is where you can set your query, uh, things you can include, and then things you can exclude. You can also set the order in which your the post in your loop will be sorted out either by date or by descending or ascending order as the case may be so right next to that is the pagination this is where you set how the pagination of your loop loop will look like from the multiple options that are here so that being said what we're going to do now is we're going to come here and click on and click on this create a template and then we'll click on save so we'll allow for it to load and give us the the ability or the screen for where we can create our template easily. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is what we'll be working with. So right here, you can see the recommended. This we'll be using these features to build a wonderful loop. So the first we're going to use is the featured image. So we we'll just drag the feature image and put it here. So what this does is it now pulls the feature image of the most recent post in your uh, list of uh, blog posts. So this is what we'll have here. So uh, next, the next thing we're going to do is um, we'll click on this plus icon and let's drag a container right below this. Okay. Now on this container, let's edit this container and add some some padding. So I'm going to unlink this. Uh, I'm going to add to the right. I'm going to add a padding of 30 pixel, bottom 30, left 30 pixel. And then we'll, the next thing we'll do, add another element. We'll now drag the post title here. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go to the style to style the post title. We'll change the post title color. I'm going to change the color to red. And then we're going to change the, the post titles, the font size. We're going to change it to, let's say, 20 pixels. All right, this looks nice. The next thing we're going to do is we'll come back here and we'll add uh, post info. Okay. Now, this gives us um, uh, the ability to add author, date, time, and comment. So we won't be needing the author name. We won't be needing the time, just the date and the, and the comment. And that's for the date. We're going to remove the link option so that it appears as a text. Okay. Right, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add the post accept. Okay, so let's drag the post accept this here and drop it here. Now, you're going, to, you're going to notice that nothing shows up. Now, a lot of people see this as a problem, whereas it's not necessarily a problem. What you do is that you need to set the post accept for your individual post for it to show here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to publish this. We're just going to publish this and uh, then we'll go white loads we'll come back to all our posts now for the first post we we'll just open it in a new tab and then we will come here you can see that this is our post there is no post except anywhere how you can add that is simply come to the screen option here toggle it down and then you go to the you check the exit option and then you toggle this back up now when you scroll down, you see that you now have the accept option here. So you can just drag, or you can just, let's say, copy um, a few text from your text, copy it out, and then you post it to the, you add it to the accept, and then you just update this. You just update this. Uh, once the update is completed, you go back to your editor. Now in your editor, if you should edit this, now let's delete this and see if we we'll add this or we need to refresh this page. So let me um, post asset. Let me drag it here again. Uh, let's see if it comes, if it loads our post asset. Okay, it has loaded the, the post asset we just added right now. So we can 
you can edit the, the post essay by clicking on this gear icon here there you see some minor settings you can do you can change the post essay length let's say we edit our length let's take it down to uh, 15 words and yeah it has reduced so down here you can see the advanced option here you can add text you want to show before the accept and then text you want to show after the accept so just going to use make use of after and just add some dots there so this will show here right after the problem you can see the dot has already appeared there so now that we've done that the next we're going to do is to go back and add another element let's add a button i'm going to add a button right below it, this okay now for the button we're going to edit the button and go to the style let's tie the button a bit let's um, give the button a background color of uh, red let's give the button a background color of red and then we'll go back to the content now for the button link we're going to clear this out and then we'll click on this dynamic tab and then we'll set the button link to post url so once we've done that the next thing we're going to do is let's edit this container and give this give our grid our design a little bit of styling so let's um, go to the border let's give it some box shadow yeah this is good and then the next thing for our image let's add some styling to the image let's add a border radius to the image let's say bottom let's add 30 pixel to that okay then the next we're going to do is um, let's go back to this parent container and then let's on the background let's go to the border let's add a border type solid and then let's unlink this and add to the bottom four four pixel to the bottom and then let's go to the hover and let's add another border type solid and then unlink this and change this to four and let's change the color to red so we get this effect when you hover you get something like this yes something like this so let's see what we have this is what we have this looks wonderful now let's go back to this button and change the text here to um, read more so now that we've done this i think we we are done with editing this uh okay let's add let's say a hover effect on the featured image as well let's come down here and add some hover effect to a feature image and let's add this animation let's say we'll set it to um should we set it to group let's see no that doesn't look nice let's set it to uh uh push uh, no let's set it to what are we going to set this to let's set it to float okay this looks good all right so now that we've done that you can see we now have something very beautiful now let's go back to this post um title let's Go back to the post title let's add a link to the post title also let's set the post url to the post title so that the post title can also be clickable in as much as we still have this read more so now that we've done this so we've done editing this next thing we're going to do is just going to click on this button here save and back so once this sketch saves up it now shows us how our loop grid would look like so let's allow for it to load and now you can see this is what we have here as you can see, the remaining post we have on our on blog post doesn't have um, post accept set to them. So that is why you, you notice that uh, each of these doesn't have just the first one which we added has the post accept. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to add the post uh, post accept to all the remaining posts that doesn't have post accept and I'll be right back. All right, so I've added all the posts except all the posts. So finally, the next thing we're going to talk about is the equal height situation. So when you toggle this, you now notice that um, some of our posts are not equal in height, like what we have here, and you can see here it looks equal. So in a situation where your post, your your the post in your loop are not equal in height, it's simple. Elementor recently added this feature where you can make all the posts in your loop have equal height by just coming down here you see the option here for you to add equal height now once you toggle that on you can see that all the posts now have equal height 
and then here you can set items per page you can set um, columns and so on and so forth so that's pretty much it about the elemental loop grid for posts yep so we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you like what you've seen please remember to give the video a thumbs up you can also drop your comment as to where you're confused and i'll be here to correct you or to help you in any way i can and uh, remember to subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new video until then see you next time Bye bye